Good morning, good morning, top of the morning, Facebook and people who watch my videos. This is your boy Ace Man. But um, today, you guys, I woke up, I woke up and I prayed, and as soon as I hopped on my bed, I had to talk about this subject because it's something that's been hitting me ever since, like shh, since I first stated it. So um, I'm gonna let you guys know. I just wanna talk about girls for this video, and uh, not like pounding girls and saying you guys are unworthy and all this stuff because. Girls will make make this world go around because you guys have the ability to reproduce and give us give give other life through guys. So yeah, that's what I want to talk about you guys. But one thing I can say about girls, you guys are beautiful. You guys are you guys are have a, a good ability to multitask. You guys can pretty much be super women at when you're only 12 years old, 13 years old, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old. But you know you really get tested when you get hit to the real world. And most women nowadays, from what I've seen, they're the only girls, they're the only people, only really humans that are like independent. I see more girls with more jobs. I see more girls driving more cars while their boyfriend is like not doing anything with their life. And it's like, how can you sit there and pursue a college education and be, you know, be all you can be basically, but you're sitting there dealing with somebody who who don't who do, who doesn't have any motivation in your life. I feel if you get somebody in your life, placed in your life, a girl in your life that's placed in your life, and you can't do anything to just motivate yourself because your girlfriend is working so hard, I mean, to me, love, as you guys grow on, ladies, that guy is, is only going to bring you down. And you don't need somebody who's going to be a cancer or a virus in your life who's going to make you sick some days, who's going to make you an emotional wreck, who's going to always have you thinking about what they're, what they're not doing. You don't need that. Really don't need that, ladies. But girls, I also want to talk about you guys have some bads. <clears throat> you guys are also indecisive people. Like, I know boys can be indecisive. I know we can carry the trade, but you guys are really indecisive. Like, and you guys are jealous. But I think the reason why you guys are so indecisive is because sometimes you really just don't know. I think that sometimes that you guys, the reason why sometimes you guys are just so jealous is because it was a guy who kind of made you that way. A guy started it off, or maybe because some girls are just territorial over stuff, or maybe because some girls are just cougar about everything, or maybe some girls are just selfish and they just want everything as theirs. There's a lot of things that can answer that question, but only a girl can know how she feels. I'm just going off of what I know and what I've been through and what I experienced. Girls, you guys are also, um, you guys, one thing I don't like about girls nowadays is that. You, it seemed like some. It seemed like some girls out there. You, you guys lost your class. I mean, the way I grew up and who I grew up with and the people I surrounded myself around was not just black women, just girls. Period. Like girls had class for themselves. And I'm not talking about like respect for yourself, where you're out there hitting all the homies or having sex. That's totally different. If you want to have sex with whomever you want to and how many people, x amount of people you want to, that's completely your business. You don't have to tell the world. You don't have to do that. You don't have to make yourself known for that thing. That has nothing to do with what I'm about to say right now. But I'm saying is that I feel that you guys lost your class. Like most mo most girls wanna dress like guys. Most girls wanna curse like guys. Most girls wanna wanna just, you know, you know, be a guy, you know. There's nothing wrong with a girl playing a sport, but of course, you know what I'm saying, you're tough, be tough, you know what I'm saying? That's what you're growing into, be tough. But don't make yourself tough. Don't make yourself wear boy clothes. Don't make yourself wear Jordans and tennis shoes. Don't make yourself wear cargoes because it's the new style of trend. I mean, still remain a lady about it. Because if you remain a lady about it, you're still going to get looked at to as a girl and not like a guy or one of the boys. A guy is not going to like somebody who looks just like them, who acts just like them. You know what I'm saying? One thing I don't like what girls do is that you guys curse. Most of you guys curse. You guys say, what's up, my nigga? And it's like, from that right there, you're telling me, it's like, you don't want my respect as a girl. You don't want any respect as a girl. Because I'm going to treat you like one of the boys. And I'm going to say things inappropriately that's going to, you know, make maybe hurt your feelings about anything or any situation. So it's like, remain a lady. You know, ladies, like, how that class to you where you guys do less cursing, less smoking, uh, less drinking, uh, more activity, more like being yourself, more being, you know, you know, you. And and I have a other, another problem with girls being promiscuous. If you're not, if you're, if you want to be promiscuous, you want to dress. It's not even being promiscuous or being a teaser or anything like that. It's dressing it. You dress the role. People are gonna, people are gonna, people are gonna judge you like that. I'm not talking about I'ma judge you, but most guys out there, you dressing with these leggings and got the thong and everything, and then they see through. And it's summertime. 
Nah. And you sit there and it's like, oh, oh, girl, you go over there and you see like, oh, she dressing, she got her breast all out, oh, she want it. That's how they gonna think. Don't dress promiscuous, ladies, because you're only setting your, yourself up for something wrong. Because some guy can sit there, it could be that guy that day who could be, you know, the guy that you have your dreams, but he can end up turning you out and making you fall real hard because all he seen was, all he seen was a free way to get some ass. To be honest, but you just a free way to get some 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 goody. And what you gonna do then? You gonna feel used. You gonna feel betrayed. You gonna feel. You gonna feel. You gonna feel experience. But you gonna feel. You gonna feel pain. You can heal from a lot of stuff, but it doesn't mean you gonna still remain the same person as you were before you got hurt. Remember that. Remember that. And there's nothing wrong and nothing hard about this. Listen to my videos and let it be. Let it be life for you. Let it be tied to you. Of course, I know a lot of classic girls, a lot of girls that don't curse, a lot of girls like that. I'm talking about the girls that that do. Like your friends, you know, people that you know. Because I really, it really dawned on me like this summer. I seen like a big change with all these girls doing all this crazy stuff. Like, remain a lady, man, because that's 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 just it. You gotta be a lady, cause you gonna be a lady, you can be respected as a lady. I don't wanna be talk to what's up, my nigga. Like, da -da -da. come on, half my my boys don't even say what's up, my nigga, to me like that. So what makes you think that I'm, you know, I'm gonna look at you? I'm gonna look at you kind of odd. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not really digging that, you know, about girls nowadays. Fellas, I'm coming for y'all. Remember, man, I'm coming for y'all. I'm going to talk about y'all because a lot of fellas need to get on that grind, need to get on that hustle, need to get out their mama house and stop smoking all that weed, making you all lazy, straight up. But women, just, just you know, respect yourself and have fun because all we do is to have fun and just remember, guys, let life flow. Let life flow. Let life flow. Flow with everything that comes on and happens to your life because you being stressed about it, you being worried about it, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to do any good to you. And I know it's a lot of girls in the relationships right now that they do not need to be in a relationship because they, that guy is just not the one. He's tearing you down and he's not there for you. He's there for you when he wants to be. He, 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 this is his chess. After you graduate high school, it's a game of chess. It's a game of strategy and it's a game of planning. A lot of you guys are sitting at home and you guys are playing checkers still. You guys are still playing checkers. And this game is turning the chess. Don't let it turn it back to back gamut because you guys are gonna be you guys are gonna be very in a in a rude awakening. Remember, you know, one thing one thing I love to have is my foundation. My foundation is God. And I believe without God you would have nothing. Because if you say to any unbeliever, anybody who says it like, if you're you're not believing in anything, it's gonna be like, so uh, who do you believe in? Like, if you didn't have yourself, who would you have? If I don't have myself, I have God because I know within my within God, I would, I would get back to myself and get back to my roots. So you guys remember, wake and pray. I did not go to church today. That's why I have to drop you guys this video. I love you guys. Girls, you already know what it is. You already guys know what you need to do. Pick it up. Grind more. Get on your hustle and continue to look pretty. Hey, I love you guys. I love women. I love my mama, Cynthia Evans. I love my sister. My little sister, Alvia Robinson. She up at UC Davis. I love you. I love my sisters, Danielle and Michelle, and I also love my little sister, Madison. I love women, y'all. I love girls. I love my girlfriend, Brianna, too. <sighs> I love you guys. Ah, have a good one. Wake and pray, baby. That's how we do it.